Now, I get lots of requests to tie flies, and this is one I get, I've been asked quite a few times to tie, but I have to confess, up until recently I'd never really tied the, the teeny nymph, this is what this is called, and uh, it's a fly that's got a great, it's got a big reputation for catching many species of fly, uh, fish, whether it be even freshwater, for salmon, trout, grayling, uh, sea trout even, uh, but as well saltwater flies, depending on how it's tied, you, there's tons of information on the internet about it. I was recently tied by Jim Teeny, uh, the gentleman who makes the fly lines. So but anyway, I'll show you how, uh, this is a kind of size that I would tie it, I mean I've actually gave it, I've tied it in black, it's a natural brown obviously, black, uh, I even tied it in a kind of coral that I have, just to, curious to see, because it's very nymphy, uh, uh, shrimpy like, uh, if you're going to be fishing for mullet even, that would do well. So anyway, hook choice as I say, it's up to yourself, this is a competition heavyweight, size 10, uh, I'm going to tie the natural one, I'm using the black thread, this is a uni thread, an 8 I'm just going to wax it first, now when they come down a couple of mil, and remove the waist. Now on the way down we tie in a, a fine copper wire. So you catch it on the way down. It's easier to do that. Um, I want a good base of thread down. Just work our way down the shank. I'm going to come slightly onto the bend of the hook. Wax my thread. The pheasant tail. A nice pheasant tail fibre. Now looking around about a dozen legs or so fibres. So if you bring it 90 degrees from the stem, tear it off, you should line up. Now you don't need, to, I'm going to come halfway up. I'm using the pheasant tail, uh, the whole of the pheasant tail to form the body and the legs. You could do the body and then put the legs on separate, but originally it was done with the full, with the one piece, so that's what I'm going to do. So I only need about an inch or so in length to, to bring this up. So about halfway, so about halfway trim away the waist. Catch this in, nice and tight. Wind up. Again, just make sure there's wax on my thread to give it the grip. Now I'm going to wind the pheasant tail fibre the opposite way. I wind my ribbon and my thread. This is the weakest fibre, uh, so this is the best way to protect it. So we come up, as we come round, what I'm doing here is spreading the fibre and then using my finger and my thumb just to hold it. As I come round, now the fibre length is basically up to yourself. Uh, depends on, it, I've seen it all different lengths. Now to catch it in, I'm coming over the back with three or four turns. Now before I leave the tips of the fibres go, I'm going to make sure the thread's tight. A couple of more turns and that's me. Now I can fold these underneath. Now I'll bring the rib up once I've finished. It's easier just to bring it all the way up through. So what I'm going to do here is just fold the fibre back. Try to make sure you can see what I'm doing. One fibre here, I want. Catch with your fingers and just tie it down and fold it towards the back, spreading it slightly. There we are. That's okay. Do the same again. I'm actually going to put a wee bit more fibre on for the front, so again what we do is we bring it 90 degrees from the stem, you see the tips line up, just a few more fibres just so we've got some sort of thickness as we go up. Now I'm just slightly over an inch, in this case, so there's the length of our body, catch this in, just make sure it's well tied. To get close, quite close to the eye because you're going to bring it all the way up and then fold back the fibre. So now 
as you can see there, I've actually started it a bit of me a mill away from where I actually got in the, the legs for the first part. Now, what I'm going to do here is try and, because of that, you've got a, like a, a layer of thread, slightly thicker than the rest. So what you can do is just spread the fibre out and cover that up by winding again the same towards yourself. It's a straight turn practically. But I'm just all I'm doing here is just spreading the pheasant tail fibre and then working my way up. See what it's like. I'm just gonna start that again, I'm not keen on that. Just come round. You don't need to be so fussy. It's just that I'm on daily, so I want to make sure I can get a reasonably good looking. Come round again, we do the same thing. I'm just checking. That looks not too bad. So I say, don't be too fussy with it. Don't like, like me. I'm just coming round. Your wire's going to do all the work for it. It's going to hold it together. So just make sure you just get this round. As you come up on top, catch it in. Yeah, I have a broker fibre there, as you can see. Don't worry about it. We can get it sorted. Same again, three or four turns. Keep the thread tight. Just make sure it's not going to move. This broken fibre, just take it away. Now, the way it's, I've tied it in, it's on top. So what I'm going to do is split the fibre evenly and bring it down either side of the shank using the finger and thumb, so it's on the underside of the hook. Make sure turn, thread turns to hold it. Every fly is going to be slightly different, you're going to have slightly different marks, uh, depending on the pheasant tail. And you're happy enough with the shape, that's that's fine. So say, I'm going to put a wee half hitch the half hitch is there is to stop the thread bouncing off when I'm bringing the up. Because I'm going to pull these fibres forward so that I can bring my rabot through. And we just work our way up. Now this is crossing over the fibres and catching, in, catching them all in. Just take your time. It's not the best looking fly in the world, or as we say in Scotland, it's not the broadest, uh, but um, I'll tell you it will definitely catch you fish. There's a fibre here, I don't know what's... There we are. Just bring this up onto the head, so I bring a straight, the wire straight up, follow it with the thread, but a 90 degree bend into the wire, and then down. There we are. Bend and break away. Quit finish. We're forming a head shape here. Trim away thread. And there we are. It's a teeny nymph. <laughs> As I say, I, I know it for a, a far, I mean, I, if I fish this, I will definitely catch fish with it. And you can tie it in different colours. Now, all I'm going to do is I'll probably put Two coats of varnish on this to get a nice shiny head. Uh, there we are. As I say, as a request. So I hope I've done it justice. And I hope you enjoyed the video as well. And if you do, please subscribe. And thank you for watching.